this video is not fitness equipment related so if you're coming to watch that one with this one it ain't here this is the shop school thing i just got through doing with keanu did it soak into his head nugget i have no idea he's gotten the video game stage of his life god help us all uh, all right so here's the problem that we got over here we've got water standing in a water hole in front of the shop don't like that at all cars are going to be going by so bear with me i want to take the water over to there now what i would like to have is a laser transit uh if you have never used one of those what it does is you old school people surveyors and stuff use this type of thing for many many centuries so i've got a tripod i've got a level lined up here and leveled up thanks to the harbor freight pittsburgh level and the lovely wife of mine has taken a tape measure and i've sighted down the thing as so and had her running her finger nugget up until we sighted it like a gun some of the old when old transits worked the same way you used uh a uh, sight with a uh, binocular a lot of them was a telescope sight you could uh, get your elevation and things uh, off of them as well this not doing it so much people do it a little bit different not a surveyor mind you but we need to figure out our uh, hydrology and uh, the ground topography to know how our drain is now I have on the tractor I've got a implement that will split the ground 24 inches never trust my eye nuggets whenever measuring elevation really hard to do because if you're standing on a hill looking down a hill how much of a hill are you really on stupid hard to figure out with the with the eyeballs alone gotta have some tools so here's what we've done this is our zero point this is where we have our makeshift transit set up so on our line it's going to show us our topography we've got it laid up here uh this is our measuring points now really if you were going to try to get the whole layout of the ground and keep in mind this is this is backyard engineering uh, you would do a circle with marked coordinates and then you would mark those around your uh, a radius of uh, your transit to give you a better lay of the land all i want to know is if i go to here to here how deep the damn hole has to be so the water drains nothing stupid complicated so this is our zero point the top of the transit or level in this case was 55 and three quarter inches measuring out to the highest point across the driveway was 51 and three quarter other side of the driveway 54 and down at the ditch 61 these numbers can be a little bit deceptive whenever you first look at them you say hey that actually goes down because the freaking number goes down the number goes down because the ground goes up so instead of the smaller number means drop smaller number knee means rise in the ground an even number if it was flat would be 55 so anything smaller than 55 and three quarter is positive elevation so it raises four inches and then comes over here we've got a raise of an inch and three quarter and then that since that's a large number i didn't work it out i mean you get to that point and you're at least uh, five inches lower than uh, where you're starting out at so this is uh this is a makeshift guys thing our makeshift way to do it i think teaching my boy stuff like this is uh an important lesson just to be able to do things yourself uh there's a, a dying breed among people of do-it-yourselfers that have basic knowledge of how to get shit done themselves uh, I want to make sure that my boy knows stuff like this because you got two options if you've got if you need to know something like this you can option a hire somebody to do it which is expensive or you option b can't afford to hire somebody to do it know how to do it yourself get the damn thing done and then it's done you don't have to work around anybody else's schedule save your money take your family out to eat that's what we're getting ready to do uh, anyway hope you guys enjoy the shop school type stuff because uh I think other people may be interested. I'll catch you later.
y'all have hope everybody's having a good weekend also things in the shop got some projects going on in the shop i'll post some videos of them hopefully this weekend everybody take care see ya